Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I'm going to run you through this totally awesome note card, but first I want to tell you the story behind it. So I opened the mail the other day and in there was this fantastic gift from my team leader. It's glaring in the light. Sorry, it's a really rainy, stormy day today. Um, I'm going to onstage and um, this was the onstage gift from my team leader. So basically, when you join my Stampin' Up! team, you join part of an even bigger team that's really awesome. Um, so after I opened this up, I said, okay, that's gonna be fantastic to take to onstage. And I had been meaning to decorate myself a notebook for the occasion. I had a plain white pop-in notebook that I had planned on decorated and was completely inspired after I received my onstage gift. So now I have my onstage gift with all my adhesives for the onstage event and a coordinating notebook for all of the hopes that I have for my Stampin' Up! business. So that's how it all started. When I was done making the coordinating notebook to go with my awesome adhesive kit, I had some scraps and I made this beautiful note card. And so now I want to walk you through this note card. All right, so totally awesome comes from your Sublime, Stampin' Up! stamp set, your Sublime. I love all these fun punny images, but we're gonna use this one today. And then I have the Oso oh Succulent Bundle, which is Oso oh Succulent Stamps and the Succulent Framelits Dies as my supporting images. I also used my Layering Squares Framelits on this project. Uh, my ink colors are Pool Party, Old Olive, Calypso Coral, Sweet Sugar Plum, and Soft Suede. Accessories. I have some sweet sugar plum rosh ribbon. We're going to do just the tiniest little bit of coloring on our frog with an old olive watercolor pencil. You could also use the old olive stamp and write marker. It's just for the tiniest little bit of detail. I think that's it for our accessories, so let's get crafting, shall we? Okay, for our consumable papers here, I have a tip top taupe card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. We're just going to fold that in half and make our card base. And then I have the scrap of the Oso oh Succulent Designer Series paper. Um, Oso oh Succulent Designer Series paper is one of the items for celebration. It is the last two days of celebration as I'm recording this video, but you can get the Oso oh Succulent paper as your celebration item. If you place an order in the next couple of days, it's yours free. All right, so I took the four by five and a quarter piece and just adhered it to my card base center. Then I have a piece of old olive that's two inches by four inches and a piece of the flip side of the so succulent paper and it, that's one and a half by four inches and we're going to go ahead and adhere them together with some snail adhesive. And I want it just a little bit lower than center. Now let me just grab my oh so succulent paper real quick. I want you to see this. It's a beautiful um, set of designer series papers. You get two of each pattern. I'm not sure what order they're in, so bear with me here. We've got the sugar plum with the succulents and the mint macaroon. And gingham, I love the gingham with the little succulent flowers. Multicolor pattern here with all the different succulents. This is very inspiring for using the oh so succulent stamps. Back of that is the Calypso Coral, and then this fun little modeled print, some stripes. This is the one we're using today with the Tip Top Taupe Gingham, and that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I'm missing a pattern. What's the other one? Ah, there it is, this green one right here, the Old Olive with the little 
petite flower pattern. Okay, so that's the Oso Succulent Designer Series paper. You get two of each in a pack. Now, let's do our little embellishing right now while we're here. I've got the Sugar Plum Rushed, Brushed Ribbon and some Fast Fuse. And I'm just gonna run my Fast Fuse along the edges of this Pear Pizzazz panel. And then I'm going to tuck the ribbon in, bring it across, tuck it into the fast fuse, and then trim off the excess. Let's get our sample back in the picture here so you can see how this is coming together. And then just a little bit of snail to reinforce where we put that fast fuse. And we can add this to the card front now. And I've got it a little less than half an inch probably. Oh, I've got it upside down is what I've got it. Oh my gosh, that was for the blooper reel. Okay, about half an inch of the other pattern papers revealed on the bottom. And we can adhere that down. Now for our bow, I'm just leaving the ribbon on the reel, but eight inches would probably do for you here for a bow. And what we're going to do is slide it underneath the ribbon that we just adhered down. And we're going to have the tail end in our left hand here, if you're right hand dominant, loop up without twisting. You're just folding and make your first loop. Then the tail that you're holding up goes over your middle finger and then tuck it in the opening there. Now if you just pull the tails while you're holding the center knot, you can really get yourself a pretty bow. And it doesn't have a lot of bulk because you just slid the ribbon up underneath and you didn't tie an anchoring knot first. So you get a pretty flat little bow here. The other thing here is this bow, because we didn't tie that anchor or not, will slide. So once we get our little frog in there, we can slide the bow and snug it right up to our frog panel. Okay, we are cruising right along here. So we've got the base of our card pretty well done. We'll set it aside for a minute because we're going to do a little stamping and die cutting. Right here I have a quarter sheet of Whisper White cardstock and we're gonna stamp some flowers on it. Okay, I am bringing two flowers from another project to the party here. They were already done, so I'm just bringing them in. You could stamp them. There's plenty of cardstock here to stamp them up on this cardstock, but since mine are done, they're there. I still wanna demonstrate this oh so succulent, this kind of two-step stamping for you, and we'll do that with this pool party flower this old olive one, and these sprigs here. These are already done for us. You just repeat the same process. Okay, and some inks. All right, this flower is our sweet sugar plum. This one is Calypso Coral. We're going to stamp right now with old olive. And pool party. And soft suede. The first thing we need to keep in mind is we're going to cut a square for our background here. And so we want to keep in mind that that you know, upper corner there should be for our square. This is, let's see here, about a two and a quarter inch square. I've got these little sprigs and we're going to need two of them. So I'm inking up in soft suede and I'm going to put them right here next to the square die because we're going to cut that from there. All right, then I've got the inside image for those sprigs. I'm going to stamp it off and then I'm going to color in that outline image that we stamped. All right, so there's our sprigs and soft suede. Now I've got my little succulent plant here. We're gonna do that one in Old Olive. We need one of those. Stamp the outline. 
and then stamp off the inside, this two-step stamping, the second step, and then fill in. Cute, huh? Okay, now I've got a pool party bloom here. We're gonna ink up and stamp the outline, and then ink up the inside, the second step, stamp off, line it up, and fill in. Now, if you're doing this at home, you're going to repeat that step with the biggest bloom and the sweet sugar plum. And you're going to repeat that step with the little bloom and the calypso coral. See, there's plenty of room on that half sheet. Now, here at the very bottom of this little half sheet, we're going to ink up our frog image with the sweet sh or with the soft suede, and we're going to stamp just the eyes because we're going to paper pierce those or paper piece those eyes back onto our pear pizzazz frog. Okay, let's get the big shot. Okay, I've got my big shot in here and we could run a bunch of these dies all at one time. So you remember that we would have had these guys stamped here so you could die cut them. You could die cut one of the sprigs, the small flower and this kind of fun pool party flower all at one time. Since we have two sprigs, it's gonna take two passes through the big shot. And when I'm done with that, I'll cut back in. Okay, I'm back here with all my die cutting. We've got one more bit of stamping to do. So I'm gonna pull in my soft suede and my Stampin' Pierce mat. And I've got a scrap of old olive here. No, this is pear pizzazz. I've got a scrap of pear pizzazz here. Mine's very big. You could definitely get away with three by three, maybe even a little smaller. Here's our toad from totally from the totally awesome stamp. And we're just going to stamp that guy in the corner here. I've got my old olive watercolor pencil. You can absolutely use a stamp and write marker here. And I'm just using this to add a little detail. We're gonna color in these little spots on our toad with the old olive. We just really wanna work it until we get good solid coverage. Now I'm going to fussy cut my little toad. And I'll cut back in when I'm done fussy cutting both the toad and toad's eyes. Okay, so I'm almost done fussy cutting and I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips here. I wanted you to first notice how I hold my scissors. I hold my scissors with my thumb and my ring finger, using my index finger to guide and support the scissor. That's how you get the cleanest cuts. The other thing I want you to notice while I cut out Froggy's eyeball here is you'll see that my right hand, my dominant hand, is just opening and closing the scissor. My left hand is actually turning the paper into the jaw of the scissor. So as the scissor closes with the right hand, the left hand guides the paper. That's how you'll get your cleanest cuts. For this paper piecing technique, I also wanted to show you that I cut off frogs' eyeballs and eyelashes, and I just chopped them right off because we're going to paper piece the eyes back in, so we don't need that. But we want those eyelashes, and we want that totally awesome sentiment. So we're going to stamp one more time on our square. So I've got the soft suede ink again, and my totally awesome toad and I'm going to stamp that image. Cutie! Now, with multi-purpose liquid glue, we're gonna come in here and add a little bit of glue inside the lines. I'm also going to, on the back of my pear pizzazz toad, I'm going to just streak the littlest bit on his toes and fingers. Now when I cut this image, I cut on the stamped line so that it'll fit right inside the image on our paper. I 
Okay, so he's all paper pieced in. Now let's get his eyeballs. We could add them with a little dimensionals, that'd be cute. But you'll notice that, again, it cut right on the line, so it's gonna tuck right in. And look, now our froggy has eyelashes again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those little paper piecing um, tips. It's a fun technique. It gives you kind of a bold, solid image, a little bit different than anything that you can get colored. All right, let's finish assembling this card. Okay, so got a little bit of snail adhesive, and we'll center our frog panel. And then we're going to take this bigger sugar plum succulent and I'm going to cut up a little dimensional. We want a small piece. Put that on the back of this Calypso Coral Bloom. And I'm going to put a little bit of snail adhesive in the corner and add my sugar plum bloom and a little bit of snail adhesive on the back of that sugar plum bloom and I'm going to lift and tuck in my pool party bloom. Same thing for the olive bloom. I'm going to lift the sugar plum and tuck it in. I think I want to turn it. There we go. So we've got our little bouquet of flowers. Now I want to put dimensionals on the back here. So we'll slide our bow just a bit. I think that's a good placement for that. But before I actually glue it down, we're gonna take and snip this one little branch in half. And I'm gonna put the tiniest little bit of snail adhesive on the back of it, tuck it in. I want it a little lower. And then we're going to take this other half and put a little snail on the back of it and we're going to tuck it in between the sugar plum and the olive. Then our last little branch piece here, I'm going to put some snail adhesive on the back of it. set it aside for just a second because we're going to release the adhesive here and put our frog panel on the card. Okay, so all the adhesive is exposed now and we want this just a little bit overlapping the gingham. Do you see? Let's get those out of there. And when we like the placement and here, we could pull that bow in close, and then this little guy that's got the adhesive on it, we'll tuck it down where we like it, and adhere. There it is, totally awesome. What do you think? All right, if you've got any questions about this project, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. If you've got any questions about joining Stampin' Up! or Celebration in the last two days, I'd be happy to answer those for you, too. I just love my Stampin' Up! team, and you'd be welcome with open arms. Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.